one of England's stateliest homes, Koshuk Towers. But in 1904, the family finances were not so stately, and it was becoming increasingly difficult to keep the place together. Lord Koshut got to grips with things as best he could, <laughs> while his son, Peregrin, tried his hand another way. So I've been carrying out for this exercise down here by myself. Oh, you shouldn't do that. It makes you deaf. Yeah? Lady Koshut could always be relied upon. I really feel like it this morning. But in the end, it was down to Ampton. That is my name, if I may make so bold. Oh, place to have the times. Oh, what a stout fellow you are, Hampton. And where would it all be without you? My pleasure to serve, my lord. That is the family motto, and I make sure my staff does serve everyone with pleasure. As we keep it up downstairs. As you see, we're well equipped. Hampton, yeah? But we have our problems. Hampton will find a way. By good fortune, I do. With the help of an ex-chorus girl made good. Well made, anyway. Imagine spending the whole weekend with a real live duke. But we don't stand on ceremony here. I'm Randy. Oh! My old childhood enemy, Snotty. Back from the colonies with a fortune. And high dealers above himself. An aspiring young actress who played games with the bishop. A French maid oh, who enjoyed her position in our household. Don't stop now. Plus a millionaire from America. It's two o'clock fix. Now anyone for tennis. Bam! No thanks to you, however, to Rogers, the groom, who was up to everything and everybody. Join the party at Koshu Towers, and I'll show you what the butler saw. Oh! <laughs> and saw. And saw. There are quite a few surprises in store for our guests both upstairs and downstairs, as we try to sort out the family problems. Happily, most problems can be solved if you leave it all to... Hampton. Always my pleasure to serve. <laughs> 